Daryl D. always telling you to take the back roads, but today we took the main road to prove you can find human stories everywhere that you look, if you try. Today we meet a guy with no arms, but with a lot of inspiration for all of us to look and to see that there's always hope and always something good in the world if you'll look and see it. Hi, I'm Michael Davenport, the mall artist. And um, today I'm at Chick-fil-A doing some artwork. Um, I've been drawing years now, and um, my artwork, everybody, uh, different uh, people uh, find my artwork unusual, but it's, it's one of the best art that I uh, train myself to do. The good Lord gave me this talent. Um, years ago, I always wanted to be an artist, and I could not draw with both my hands when I did have both my hands, but two years after I lost my hand, I got into it. Um, something that most people love to see me at work. Uh, the artwork that I do is, is so unique because I do Buddha drawing, I do family portrait drawing, I do uh, any drawing that one will want. Regardless of where Michael might be, he's always got a fan close by who wants a peek at that awesome art. My name is Kevin Hines and they call me Chappie. I'm campus director for FCA Team Chapman for Georgia. I met Michael up at camp uh, just being around Athens. And I know some of his family and he'll come to Margaret Football Camp and he'll do his drawings and it just really inspires these young people. and especially our football players, to see a man with limitations like he has, but yet he's out there doing it and, and uh, working hard. And so, yeah, it's been a blessing. And, you know, I think it's a testimony uh, to God giving him a gift and him using it. And uh, I think it's just a positive influence on many people that witness what he does and the quality of work that he does. I know a lot of people that got his paintings in their houses. So, no, he's just a blessing. Owner TJ Calloway of the Five Mile Club in Athens welcomes Michael as an employee and artist to help sell his work. This is the SAE Fraternity House. I was an SAE here at Georgia, and uh, we've got a series coming out here shortly. Michael's actually going to do one original of every fraternity and sorority house on campus. and. Uh, we're going to hope to promote those to the fraternity and sororities as prints and maybe t-shirts and, uh, you know, the, the original would possibly be available to, uh, to each chapter, although this one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> CJ, he got, like, ideas for me, like, putting stuff on t-shirts, you know, and so we're going to come out with, you know, t-shirts uh, of uh, what people want, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. not only Bulldog board, board related, but you know, something and more in the nature scenery, something more right. in, you know, just come out with stuff that people want. Just to show you, he doesn't just do Georgia stuff. My, my brother is a big FSU fan, and this is um, a really cool, cool original that Michael did of uh, Chief Osceola on the horse. <laughs> Today at Chick-fil-A, we watched as Michael became one with his canvas. His drawings are more than just lines on a canvas, but it's a part of him. But he does admit he's learned to keep up with the crowd with new tricks. I so just learned myself how to draw and talk at the same time, too. So, a lot of my fans, they don't, they um, wait on a picture, but can't sub them and ask me questions while I'm doing it, you know? <laughs> Since Michael's accident as a young boy, he's learned to live with what he doesn't consider a handicap, but use what he has. He thanks God for each and every day and says every day is a blessing. In his opinion, he's happy with who he is. Yeah, when I was uh, 13 years old, I lost both my arm at, at uh, age 13. Um, I was uh, staying below Winterville and I was going at a tree branch uh, with a piece of rope. I uh, wanted to be like Spider-Man, I guess you would say. The uh, rope that I did have, um, it was copper. And uh, as soon as I threw my rope at the tree branch, I missed it and I hit the main three power line instead. So that's what second, that's how I lost my hands. Uh, 7,500 volt it went through my body. 
And uh, the good Lord saved my life. Uh, I did have uh, somewhat like an out of body experience. Everybody, some people ask me out of curiosity, how do I do my artwork? Well, years ago, I always wanted to be an artist when I was younger, but I could not draw with both hands. But two years after I lost my hand, I just got into it. Every day is a beautiful blessing, man. You know, and that's that's yeah. how God worked through us all. You know, God, he he don't do a day without you know profit. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So that's another heartwarming story. Thank you, Michael, for sharing it with us here today. For the Back Road Treasures, I'm Daryl D.